After four years of being employed, I finally told my boss about my schizoaffective disorder. It was not an easy decision to make, nor an easy conversation to have, but it was something I needed to do eventually. And if you are new here, my name is Kit and I'm diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, which is a condition where someone experiences symptoms of schizophrenia, such as delusions and hallucinations, but also symptoms of a mood disorder, either major depression or in my case, bipolar. As you might be able to guess, telling your boss that you have a psychotic disorder can be a very scary thing. But despite that, for me, it needed to be done. And this is the part of the video where I make it clear that I'm not saying everyone should do this. Not everyone should tell their employer about their mental illness. It can be a bad idea, and I don't deny that. So do what's best for you based on the situation you're in. Like many things in life, it's a case-by-case -case basis, not a set of rules. But with all that aside, why did I do it after all this time? Well, I told him because my schizoaffective disorder was starting to affect my work. This is the big idea. I only said something because it was starting to affect my job. And how it was affecting my work was that my mood symptoms were acting up and it was very hard to work through them. There's also some stuff about meds and I'll get to that. But I wanna go back a few years to 2020 to begin this story. I originally did not plan on telling my boss anything. I got my job in literally the very beginning of the pandemic, meaning that day one, my boss pulled me into his office and told me to go home because the lab was shutting down the very next day. Thus began four months of Zoom calls with people I didn't know. But anyways, I was still diagnosed with bipolar one at the time of my hiring, and I didn't wanna have to say anything about it. I was worried about stigma, to put it plainly, which is so ironic now. But you might be wondering, Kit, you have a YouTube channel. Why try to hide it at all when anyone can find out the information? And what I say to that is it's different when it's work. It's just different. I want to keep them separate. And that's all I can say on it for now. So fast forward to a time where I'd been working about a year and a half for the lab and I'd been diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. I hadn't had a major mood or psychotic episode in quite some time, meaning that I hadn't had severe symptoms in months. I had many ups and downs, micro episodes if you will, but they hadn't affected my job at that point. I'd actually been able to hide them for the most part and work through them without issue. Something had happened though, and I was in the process of changing antipsychotics, which is a not so fun time for anyone who's ever gone through it. And side effects for me are so unpredictable that I kind of felt it necessary to warn my boss that I might have to take time off to deal with them. An example of how they affect me is that when I first went on Zyprexa, which is antipsychotic I'm currently on, it kind of made me dumb for a few days while I adjusted to it. It was hard to talk to people, I couldn't focus on tasks, and I was basically blissed out, tired, and a little loopy. Fortunately, it only lasted for a few days, but boy was it a whole thing when it did happen. And this also happened when they upped it in the psych ward. So naturally I thought that similar things might happen on other antipsychotics too. So I thought it best to tell him what was going on. Yes, he had no right to know, and yes, I could have kept it to myself, but I felt at this time it was the right call. I felt it in my gut. So I did it. I went into his office, sat down, and chickened out. I told him I had a mood disorder. I didn't even say bipolar, I just said mood disorder. And part of me was like, ah, I should have said the whole thing. While the other part of me was like, let's just test the waters with this vague explanation. But I mentioned I was switching meds and didn't know how that would go. And I mentioned that I get episodes. And he was pretty awesome, actually. He mentioned a few personal things to me that obviously I won't say here. To put it plainly, I gathered that he got it. And that was enough for me to breathe a sigh of relief. He told me that all I had to do was send him an email if I needed to take time off due to my disorder. Side effects or symptoms, anything was valid. All I had to do was just ask. And eventually I did need to do that because I got very, very depressed. And there was no issue asking for that time off, as promised. And there was a kind bit too. How when I was stuck at home, he wanted, not demanded, wanted, an email every day telling him that I was okay. And I thought that was nice, that he cared. So I did that, and I kept it vague just to be safe. But it was a good thing. It was a kind thing. And ever since then, I have done that whenever I've had episodes that have kept me from going to work. I've had a few at this point, and I've never had issues getting time off. But there's more to the story. We still have to talk about psychosis. More years pass, a few more episodes pass, and I honestly feel like he jumped through a few hoops at this point. And mostly the episodes I was dealing with were bipolar in nature, so they were mood-based. I'd have some psychosis, yes, but it wasn't the main piece. It was just more of a side dish. 
But a few months ago, I did have an episode where psychosis was the focus, and as a result, it was mainly schizophrenic in nature. I was hearing voices a lot. I was having delusional thinking. And I was in bad shape, to put it mildly. To top it all off, I was struggling at work to stay focused, and show up for my job in a meaningful way. And while I knew what was real and what wasn't, for the most part, it was still really rough to endure. I was going through all of these symptoms, and my doctor and I eventually decided we were going to up Zyprexa, that antipsychotic I take. And it is extremely effective and has helped me the most. It just works really well for my body chemistry. And I'm so, so grateful for it. So if you recall from earlier in this video, when it gets upped, I kind of get stupid for a few days. As such, I obviously cannot work when this happens. And this was kind of what I had already warned my boss about years ago. It's just that back then it didn't happen, and this time it might. And so with the current events, I felt it was time. It was time to tell the rest of the story. So again, I went to my boss's office, shut the door behind me, and told him there was more to my diagnosis. That I had something called schizoaffective disorder, which he'd actually heard of. Like, oh my god, someone had heard of it. Which was new, because normally I have to explain it using my YouTube spiel that many of you are familiar with. But I still explain that for me, it was similar but not the same as having schizophrenia and bipolar at the same time. And how it was really difficult to deal with. And there was lots of stigma. And how I didn't want him telling anyone. He told me he wouldn't. And I know that's funny, coming from a girl on YouTube that has thousands of people watch her content on a regular basis. But no, my boss can't tell anyone else. Because I think it's important that I can keep it private at work. Even if it might get found out eventually. And if that happens, hi. How's it going? This is Kit, your coworker. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. But anyways, if and when that happens, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But the point here is that it was received well the entire time. I did not feel like a horrible person in this situation. I didn't feel awful. I didn't feel like I made a bad decision. And now he knows. But that's not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing for me. It feels like a weight off my back. And it's been a few months now, and I'm okay. I don't regret it. Even if I did have second thoughts the day I did it. It's also important to note that this time, the side effect of making me a little blissed out for a few days actually did happen. So telling him was definitely the right call because I did have to take a few days off to deal with that. But the thing is, once again, when it comes to stuff like this, it's a case by case basis, not a set of rules. Telling your employer about your mental illness is not something you have to do. But I do encourage you to talk to them if it affects your job. That last bit is the whole reason I said anything to my boss at all. I probably would have kept quiet if it hadn't affected anything. It puts a necessary explanation to why I am the way that I am. So if you're thinking about doing this too, go in with an open mind. Write down what you're going to say so you don't mess up if needed. And honestly, I can say from experience that it goes a long way when it works. I feel so much safer at work now that I know that my boss doesn't subscribe to mental health stigma. And being able to take time off when episodes happen with no questions asked is seriously a gift. The final thing I'll say is that HR doesn't know, it's just my boss. And I want to keep it that way as long as possible, even though I know in the future I might have to disclose it to them too. It just depends on the situation. And that's when and why I told my boss about my schizoaffective disorder. If you like this video and have something to share, slam the like button and drop a comment below. I know I'm not alone in this and neither are you. So whether you told your boss or not, you are valid for the decisions you make on this matter. Stay strong, keep going, you got this. As always, thanks so much for joining me in making the uncomfortable comfortable. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.